Good evening once again. A dozen local religious leaders are getting a big boost in their mission to provide emergency outreach in some of the hardest hit communities. All new at 5.30, 7 Eyewitness News reporter Olivia Proya has the story. 10 zip codes, 15 pastors, one goal. If Jesus was walking the streets of Buffalo and he saw us engaged in this way, he would be pleased. The African American Health Equity Task Force has started the Social Determinant of Health program. It's a 12 week long initiative funded by ECMC. The whole idea behind the project is that there are so many of our fellow community members who simply have been asked to do things that are really kind of difficult, if not impossible, for them to do. Like social distance or buy two weeks worth of food. So members of the 15 churches will be calling those in these 10 vulnerable zip codes through the voter registration database. They'll also be knocking on doors. The goal is to find out what they need. To help people to shelter at home, to get clinical care if they need it, to help them get into primary care practices so that they can live a healthier life. If someone needs food, they'll bring them food. If they need mental health care, it will be provided. If someone is sick, they'll be referred to the closest primary care doctor. The nurse will pick up the phone and do the clinical interview. And if it's determined that someone needs a COVID-19 test, they'll be brought into testing sites just like this one right here. g -Bond is going to use his van so people that just can't come in, there's no transportation to bring them to the site. Those who can't get to the testing site themselves will be brought there in one of these vans. If they test positive, their new primary care doctor will begin contact tracing. So we can begin to check the house to make sure that no one else is getting infected and that we can contain this. Almost like a, a, a quarantine of that house and almost a clear. The goal is to fight the coronavirus outbreaks among some of Buffalo's most vulnerable. In Buffalo, Olivia Proya, 7 Eyewitness News.